At this time of year, I find myself saying thanks for a lot of things. For example, I want to thank all of you viewers who have watched and hopefully learned from my First With Kids weekly tips over the years. I'm certainly thankful my segments have actually been on the air for over 21 years. But even more importantly, I want to thank children who have parents that have set great examples for them by doing such things as wearing seat belts and bike helmets and insisting that their kids do likewise. I'm thankful to parents who don't smoke, or at least try not to expose their children to the risks of passive or secondhand tobacco smoke. I say thanks to parents as well for reading to their children every night or having their children read to them. I'm also grateful to parents who keep their child's scheduled appointments with doctors and dentists so that immunizations and other health screenings are on schedule. Parents also deserve thanks for safety proofing and re-inspecting their homes for injury and fire prevention on a regular basis. And parents deserve thanks for putting their babies to sleep on their backs rather than their stomachs to reduce the risk of sudden unexpected infant death. I also hope that all children will be thankful at this time of year too for what they have, be it their family, friends, teachers, food they have to eat, even clothes to wear, and think about ways of helping others who may not be as fortunate at this time of year. Finally, I hope that everyone will remember that improving the health of your children is a Thanksgiving feast unto itself and something for which we can all be thankful. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital with my friend Tom the Turkey wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving and reminding everyone to always be what, Tom? First with your kids. Go on.